The Village in the Woods is a brand new 2021 horror drama. It is a ultra low budget film. Um, and it is about a couple who come to this small village. Uh, the girl has inherited or thinks that she's inherited this piece of property. And the uh, people there in town are, are pretty friendly. But of course, everyone seems to have ulterior motives in this film, which we learn throughout. Um, this is, you know, for, for an ultra low budget film, I really liked the way this film looked. I thought the acting was mostly good. The problem with the film for me is that it drags. It's sometimes confusing. And then there's some exposition dumps. And even though that happens, I still feel that things are left ambiguous. So it's like a lot of information is given, but then I'm not 100% sure of what's actually going on within the film. I did kind of check out a little bit here and there and do, did lose interest. So I did find myself to be bored. But I do still think it's a fairly ambitious, low-budget film that deserves some recognition for that. Um, I definitely think, of course, there's going to be the people who watch this and think it's trash. And then I think there's going to be some people who find this to be quite appealing. Um, I, I, it didn't work for me exactly. But I do like to support films like this. I think it's important to give films like this a chance. And this is by no means a terrible film. Uh, I do think they did quite well with this. I just personally wasn't as engaged as I would have liked to have been. So I did get kind of bored. And that was... that That's where it lost me. You know? that That's the sin that you can't commit in a film. No matter what. So you've got to keep me engaged. And I just wasn't personally. Uh, you might watch this and have a different feeling for that you might be totally engaged with what's going on everything's very foggy you know it's got that real dreary look to it everything but the townsfolk are like almost the counter of that they're very friendly um creepily so at times um and also i just like to point out that the woman in this who gets caught having sex um just you know by the sound uh the woman and it's like a woman of her age a woman of her age the girl looks maybe 50 how when do you people think people stop fucking at what age do you think they stop having sex <laughs> like people like do you know that uh like old folks homes and stuff are are like notorious for rampant sex and stds because they're just like fuck it i'm going out i'm going out swinging and guys in there are just laying bed and girls right and left all day and night so, for the people who think, like, people stop fucking around their, like, what, 50s, 60s? I, I don't know. It was pretty funny when she said, a woman of her age? I can't believe, with who? What? I, I just found that line to be really funny. And I do know that there are people who think like that. It's just like, oh my god, old people fucking gross. They do it. Anyways, that's not part of this review. I just thought it was something that I'd like to throw in there. Because I, th I found that bit of dialogue pretty funny to me. Um, but overall, the performances are good. The, uh, the way that this looks for the for the budget that it has, I, I think, is actually um, quite admirable. So there's things to appreciate here. It's not a throwaway film for me. It's not something I'm here to rag on. I just found myself bored. That's it. That's, that's my biggest gripe with the film. Uh, that's unfortunately a big gripe, of course. That's not something I can look past. Um, but... Um, yeah, this could work for someone, but it's not one I'm recommending. But... Uh, definitely don't don't let that dissuade you from checking it out yourself if you're into ultra low budget um you know more dramatic horror movies that deal with like small communities that are seemingly nice but have nefarious um you know desires much like a rosemary's baby i personally hate rosemary's baby you guys know that if you've watched my channel enough so and there's it's like a classic film that almost everybody loves so what the fuck do i know you know, these kinds of films don't work for me. I find them to be boring. But that's not because I find slow films to be boring. You know, Hereditary, Midsommar, um, you know, any of the, those are like my favorite films of the last decade. So it, it's not that I don't like slow. It's just that some things I find boring and other things I don't. This one I did. So there you go. Anyways, the only reason that I'm 
doing it like this is because I know typically when I review a film like this, the cast, the crew, somebody from it watches this, and I don't want them to think that I'm fucking smashing their film. I'm really not. I'm really not. I just found myself bored, but I think that they did a pretty impressive effort here regardless of my feelings towards it so anyways that's all i have to say of that the film uh you can check it out on vod streaming right now if you want let me know if you see it adios